Hello everyone, my name is Mike Olson and I wanted to share with you today an experience that I recently had last week and a thought that I had around that and how our comfort zone may be a potential colon cancer. I know this sounds kind of strange. Uh, recently I completed a well overdue doctor appointment and that's just what you do when you get to age 50 and I don't know a single man that looks forward to this particular event even though I've always heard that there isn't any pain involved uh, but when I went through this process it made me think having a rectal exam is so emotionally uncomfortable for most of us and it requires us to put immediate comfort aside and think of the long-term benefit a routine prostate check colon exam those words strike fear into the hearts of pretty much everyone that exam takes us out of our comfort zone but however a prostate check is known to be one of the best methods for detecting colon cancer early and colon cancer is the third most diagnosed cancer among men and women and it does actually kill about the same percentage of women as it does men. But if this disease is caught early through these simple exams, it is highly survivable compared to neglecting the exam and allowing this possible cancer to spread from the rectal area to other tissues and organs. So I want to tell you about my rectal exam. I know a lot of people are not going to want to share this but here's mine and why it applies. When I go into the doctor's office, Myra, a nursing student, called me to the back. She weighs me and does some other routine checks. Uh, she's taking my temperature, she's entering notes into the computer, and a few other mundane tasks. She was a new nurse and that was pretty apparent. She was fidgety and uncomfortable, more uncomfortable than I would expect. And later I would learn why. When Myra finished her part and left, Dr. Cindy came into the room. Now, Dr. Cindy has been my doctor for quite a few years. We're comfortable with each other. I'm not uncomfortable with her basically saying or asking or doing anything that she needs to do for my health. Her bedside manner is more than kind. And as she continues to complete the exam, I can tell there's one last thing, which is the rectal examination on the check for this 50-year-old checkup that I'm going through. She told me to wait a moment and she would bring Myra, the nursing student, back in. My jaw dropped. I'm not sure who was about to be more terrified, whether it was going to be Myra or myself. She was way more nervous and uncomfortable than I was. Uh, it became quite apparent that this was her first time doing this and she became nervous enough that it actually was pretty entertaining to me. So I apologized to Myra and and I don't know why I'm apologizing for her uncomfortableness. I'm the one about to get naked and expose myself and be a guinea pig. So Dr. Cindy, she gives the instructions. Uh, you're going to drop your pants. You're going to bend over. You're going to take a deep breath. You're going to exhale. And so as I'm doing this, I'm leaning over, looking at Myra and Dr. Cindy out of the right corner of my eye. Myra would not even look in my direction. And Dr. Cindy is busy putting on the loosely fitting blue latex gloves squeezing out way more KY jelly onto the gauze pad than I thought was going to be necessary and thankfully I can see out of the corner of my eye also that she is only gooping up way more KY jelly again on her pinky finger than is necessary I was just glad it was the pinky finger she tells me to take a deep breath and I do and as I exhale in goes the pinky finger and she exclaims in kind of an excited voice nope no nodules and it's over in a flash then she tells me to go ahead and get dressed and so greasy cheeks and all I pull my shorts up and in the end no pun intended all good I'm not having any potential uh, cause for cancer concerns and so I pretty much finish and get dressed and uh, I'm, on I'm on with my day. But this got me thinking. Do I avoid taking action in other parts of my life because I would rather be 
currently comfortable rather than endure temporary discomfort and check in with myself really check in to see if something may be wrong to see if I have any potential cancer in other parts of my life whether it be mental or emotional or in my relationships am I happy at work am I happy with my relationships could I have an emotional or a mental cancer and be in denial of it or not even be aware and be so afraid of change that I'm not even going to ask those questions and I know that there are many people that ignore the medical advice to their own peril they ignore personal advice to make changes when they could take action that would dramatically improve their medical and or emotional mental or spiritual well-being so why fear that's the reason fear of change fear of other people's opinions fear of hearing the truth lack of faith now getting out of our comfort zone and facing the uncomfortable situation and facing any potential truths and doing what the data proves can dramatically increase increase the the quality of our life or even save our life is worth it so I wanted to ask you today how many of us go day in and day out hating what we do when we could do something we love how many feel like what you're doing in your work or your relationships is actually killing you or the other person inside how many of us can admit that we ourselves are both the problem and the solution to our relationship struggles I finally asked myself that am I living and working in an environment because change is too scary am I worried about what other people think if I change to do what I really love if I reduce my wants and my spending could I really make it with less while I work at building on what I love my guess is that you can I'm not talking about jumping from thing to thing just because it's hard I don't mean quitting when it gets hard I'm talking about fighting the internal battle to know yourself I'm talking about asking those deep questions and being still long enough to hear the answers I'm talking about being honest enough in those answers and being comfortable enough with hearing truth I'm talking about saying to myself yes I need to make a change it may require discomfort embarrassment ridicule however if you or I are already in agony of what we're doing then let's not add potential regret to the equation let's start now maybe you're 30 and in a stable career that you hate maybe you're 40 maybe you're 50 or more and think it's too late to restart or start over now that would be wrong that's fear getting to you talk to someone you trust do some deep introspection make an extreme check of what you're going through mental stressors are believed to be some of the biggest risks and perpetrators of cancer get your mental and emotional colon checked and keep moving gentlemen you are the alpha and this is the alpha quorum